Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to take a look at another budget red dot from Penty. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today we're going to take a look at another budget offering from Penty in their Red Dots. So if you follow my channel, you know I've done videos about this in the past. I've done other uh, Penty uh, Red Dots and so has other YouTubers and they really get good reviews uh, for what you pay for them. It's a very budget friendly uh, option if you're looking for something like that. And uh, if you follow my channel, you know the Amazon store will be pinned in the section below in the comment section. Go over to my Amazon store, you'll find this and other red dots and other items. Doesn't cost you any more. Uh, just pays us a little commission on the backside just for using it. Uh, the, it doesn't cost you any, any different than your normal purchases on Amazon. So what is the price point of this? You're looking at about $29 on Amazon. I have Prime, so you get free shipping with it. And... Um, you, they offer it in black, and they also offer it in what they call khaki. I don't know if it's a, a flat, dark earth kind of color. I'm just sitting here looking on, uh, see if I can get a better picture on Amazon. I'm just kind of curious because I just bought the black. Uh, it's kind of a flat, dark earth color is what it is. Even the, according to the picture, according even the mount um, that you get, the cantilever mount, is also that flat, dark earth color. So the, cap, the turret caps uh, are actually, uh, I mean the uh, scope caps are actually black uh, on that particular model. But uh, $29.99 currently, the, this one gets about 4.5 star review out of 1,691 reviews currently on Amazon. So it does get good, uh, good reviews from people. So let's take a look. This one comes with the cantilever style mount, mounts to any 1913 style rail. Uh, like I had mentioned earlier, it does come with caps on this one, so you do get your scope caps. I have mine oriented uh, in the down position, so they just flip down out of the way on your rifle like that, and they do snap back into place kind of nice and snug. Uh, does come with your battery. The battery uh, is in here. Uh, just simply unscrew this, put your battery in, and put it back. This has red and green options for your color choice of your red dot or green dot. It is a simple dot, uh, it is a 4 MOA dot, and it has intensity levels uh, starting on this one at 5, uh, and it does not really starburst out that bad, uh, so just uh, check that out when you get it. You'll notice that it actually has pretty decent, uh, um, that red dot's pretty nice actually. Uh, your uh, adjustments for your windage and elevation are here and here. Uh, these are captured or tethered caps, so you don't have to worry so much about losing them. I do like that. On some, A lot of them don't have that. Uh, this one does. So if you look, you're not going to lose your cap. If you look, it's a simple, uh, and it does, a uh, little simple flathead. You can a lot of times take a dime or something and stick in there to make those adjustments. Uh, if you don't have a little flathead screwdriver, I've even used like a bullet casing the edge of it. It also tells you which way is up and which uh, up is counterclockwise. Clo uh, clockwise would be down. And then you have it over here for your elevation. Same thing here. Uh, Penty logo up here. I blacked mine out a little bit. It's a little brighter white uh, than that when you first get it. Comes in this box. Nothing too fancy. Just a plain cardboard style box. Does come with the instruction manual, a cleaning, uh, get the box open, a um, little cleaning rag for your lens and the battery and the Allen wrench for your uh, tightening everything down. Now, keep in mind, when I got mine, when you get yours, it has six uh, Allen uh, type screws here to hold it onto your mount. These were not really loose, but just a little bit loose. I needed to snug them up a little bit, so just keep that in mind. Uh, you don't want to go in here and get everything set up and then uh, lose zero because uh, that's uh, loose. So make sure you're checking that. 
I was able to uh, bore sight mine. I've got a new bore sighter I'll be doing a video about here soon. Was able to get it to track in uh, to that bore sighter really well. And then I did the tap. Uh, if you've seen my channel, I've done a video quite a, it's been a while back. Uh, about making sure your diode is seated uh, and you do that by tapping. It also helps you uh, make sure that uh, the uh, optic is working correctly for the most part and not losing zero. Um, out of all these Pinty optics that I've bought and recommended to friends, family, whoever, we've had one that was bad and it was the one I bought and put on my son's rifle. We were sighting it in and I noticed every time I'd move it, it seemed like the red dot would not track correctly. It would move around. And I uh, figured it out doing the tap test. So you just take like a butt end of a screwdriver, pocket knife, something you're not going to mar up the finish and just tap it real good. A uh, little rubber mallet, you know, like something like a gunsmith and hammer that's got the little uh, nylon end on it. Tap it. You don't have to beat it. Just kind of tap it. And I noticed when I did that, looking through it, that the red dot was kind of bouncing around. So I knew something was wrong. Because I got it on Amazon, I was able to send it right back. They uh, gave me a refund. I was able to order another one. And that is the only one we've had a problem out of. So been pretty successful with these if you're looking for something cheap. Um, again, I've got it more expensive ones, but this right here for that price point, uh, they've served me well and a lot of others. So just keep that in mind that uh, you know they do, do pretty good for the price point. But anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. I just wanted to bring you another uh, red dot from Penty. Uh, if you're looking for a budget option, I think this right here would be it. I will mention that I am going to change out this cantilever mount for a single 30 uh, millimeter. This right here is, these are 30 millimeter tube for a single 30 millimeter mount. Uh, with that said, you might see this in the background here, and I am going to do some future videos, hint, hint, uh, a little spoiler alert on some things that's coming up, so pretty excited about that. So just keep that in mind, uh, spoiler alert, just letting you know what's coming up in some videos, so pay attention to that. And uh, But anyway, I am going to switch it out for this, and I'm going to do a review uh, on these uh, new uh, scope mounts I got, scope rings. I'll discuss that in a video here shortly. But anyway guys, appreciate you tuning in. If you got any questions, post those below. If you got any experience with Penty or any other line of red dots, including this one, be sure to share that with us. That's always helpful. And as always guys, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.